Okay, when the contactor makes, it should make solidly, it should make a bit of a noise when it does it, kind of like this. I can see that thing came down very quickly. All three of them came down. There is no real uh, uh, hesitation on it. That's how they should always work. Okay, there I've just been able to uh, kind of imitate a chattering contactor. I don't have one that does chatter, but it does kind of go like that. Uh, by the time you get to it, the uh, contactor is probably pretty much toast. Because every time these this armature goes down, it's going to make contact, and it's going to break, and it's going to make and break and make and break. And it usually takes out the contacts in just a short time. So the contactor almost always has to be replaced in that case. But it's usually not a contactor problem that caused it. Generally, that's a low voltage situation. You don't have enough volts to pull it in, so it gets down uh, almost all the way, and then it pops back up again. And they'll chatter pretty loudly, uh, lots of sparks, so on. That pretty much means you've got to find out what's wrong in your low voltage that is not allowing that contactor to come in properly. Uh, either case, the contactor is probably going to be uh, replaced. Okay, you can hear this contactor. It's not pulling in. Uh, and if I hit it like that, it pulls in. Okay, two things can cause that. One is the armature is worn and it isn't coming in because it's dragging. Two is if you get low voltage to this uh, coil here. So you got to watch that uh, and don't make the wrong diagnosis on this thing. If there is low voltage in here, and you have to check voltage while it's operating. You know, energize this and then check right across here. Don't check at the source or anything like that without this energized. Uh, you'll have to have power to it for the voltage drop to show. So, in this case, uh, this is low voltage. And that's the effects of low voltage and armature wear.